Hi, I'm Ruben Mascarenas, co-founder and director of the Khana Chahiye Foundation. On 29th of March 2020, when we went to the Western Express Highway, armed with 1,200 cooked meals in the middle of the COVID pandemic, I still can't forget the first family that we came across below a flyover in Mumbai's Bandra East. I asked them when did they have their last meal. They replied it was three days ago. When I tried to give them four lunch packets instead of accepting them, they asked me to cross the road and give it to the family on the other side because they had children. This really touched us. It is this incident which sparked a movement which was inspired by the spirit of Mumbai. We are the Thana Chaige Foundation. We are a citizens movement which is now a non-profit working at actualizing SDG 2, Zero Hunger. We wish to make India hunger free beginning with Mumbai. Khana Chahiye is colloquial Hindi. It is both a question and an, and an assertion about needing food when hungry, and hence our choice of name. We believe that hunger is avoidable suffering and unutilized potential. We dare to imagine a world without hunger and are working towards actualizing it using smart technology, best talent, and by driving local ownership by both governments and communities. A substantial number of people living on the margins in Mumbai cannot feed themselves adequately or regularly. We have our origins in the COVID pandemic when we were able to create impact at scale by working with over 200 grassroots organizations. Post the pandemic, these organizations were our eyes and ears across Mumbai and it is they who reached out to us about hunger persisting in their communities. Take for example, baby Ruksar, who is specially able She's supported by her father, who is a daily wage earner at the local railway station. He is a single parent who doesn't have a regular job. She lost her grandmother during the pandemic. Ruksar is not alone and thousands of children sleep on Mumbai streets hungry every night. There is no data. Even the government doesn't know. If we ask the question, how many people suffer from extreme hunger in Mumbai, there are no easy answers. As for the BMC, this number is just 14,000, which is obviously the consequence of a dated survey, which makes any meaningful intervention obsolete. If one would extend and extrapolate the NSSO data, this number is 10 lakh people who are hungry in a city like Mumbai. Because we do not have adequate data, we wish to map the microclusters of those in extreme need and drive its adoption by local grassroots communities. The idea is to create a crowdsourced feedback loop so that the data is relevant and drives better visualizations in engagement and government interventions. We first identify those who are in extreme need and drive community adoption so that relief reaches the people who need them. Because it is hunger, we need to have a response in the here and now. We run two community kitchens which are part of our uh, in, uh, crisis management infrastructure that we advocate for. The one in Kurla is run by a women's self-help group. The one in Ulasnagar is run by a transgender persons collective. Together, they cater to eight microclusters and serve 525 meals a day. They've actually realized zero hunger in the vicinities of East Kitchen. We also run an SOS grocery op for those families in extreme need. We have a WhatsApp chatbot to report hunger. We have partnerships with organizations like TIS and CSSC. We collect over 34 fields of socio-economic data. We have a detailed process of validation and verification, post which we provide one-time assistance, uh, which is a family grocery kit, which is food worth 18 kgs to a family of four, which suffices them two square meals over two weeks. Till date, we've been able to serve over 76 lakh cooked meals, supported over 70,000 odd families, and during the migrant worker crisis, supported over six lakh migrant workers. What has worked for us is our immediate response and collaboration. We were able to get the city to adopt our fight against hunger and we wish to replicate the same at scale. Our ask is 1 crore rupees for the next financial year. This is primarily to sustain our operations, which is 525 meals at the cost of rupees 30, 30 per meal over 12 months and 150 family grocery kits at the cost of rupees 1000 per kit. We also wish to expand our resources so that we can work on long-term interventions for hunger, like establishing micro kitchens and mapping Mumbai's destitute to the streetlights so that they have access to ration cards. Mumbai's destitute don't have ration cards because they don't have proof of interest. We wish to change that. These are a few visuals of our team and our team in action. We look forward to your support in our fight against hunger.